morning! Cloudy today. Highlands are looking well. Eating a bit of meal. Oh, crows have not noticed that I've turned up yet. Hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm. Um, yeah, we do a video every single day um, about what we get up to. So if you do like this sort of thing, remember to like and subscribe because it does help our channel grow and put it out to more people. So, yeah. The little man's here today. Mm -hmm. Right, mate? Yeah. <laughs> so I think Em's just pulling the mixer out at the minute. And um, I'll jump on the nine meter and we'll get that filled. I can hear Andy on the straw blower somewhere. And my dad's about on the TM320S. Morning, Em! So I'll jump on this one, so we can get fed round. Sure there's nothing in the bucket. So Em's down there, she's just cutting the bands off the bales. I've just put what we need to get chopping in the mixer now. So it's just gonna chop that straw down and chop that hair down into fine pieces and then we can continue with the rest of the mix. So yesterday we opened the maize clamp up. Looks decent-ish. Smells all right. Should be good. Just gonna put a little bit of this in. Just cause we've not started feeding it yet. So um, we like to introduce new feeds to the cattle in um, moderation. So we'll just put a little bit, bit in a mix at a time and then we'll gradually build it up, build it up until uh, they're used to it. Oh, morning Andy. You all right? Yeah, not so bad. It got cold still, but good. So I'm just putting the molasses into the tank now. Into the tank, into the mixer. This is the tank. So just getting the hay out of this barn here. Um, we're trying to get this used up because we want it for um, some space for some cattle. Make it into a cattle pen again. Um, it's just taking us a bit of time to get it used. All the hay that's in here, round bales we'll leave in, but this, this bay here we want it free. And he's off, got a few more bales to do. So, as a few of you will know, look, the island is exactly the same as we again, behind the fence. <laughs> it's coffee time! Joe Seals Merchandise Service uh, announcement. We've sold out of the beanie hats for now. Um, cups are running low. We have got another order coming in, but um, I'm not sure when that is. Hopefully it's next week. Um, so yeah, if there's anything that you need desperately, mugs are still in stock. Um, got t-shirts and some stuff like that in stock. And I think one or two hoodies, but that's it. So um, yeah, if you need it, get it quick before it all runs out. Does it taste like nice, Andy? I'll let you try it. <laughs> so we're just getting some cattle out now. Yeah, white tag. This guy here is huge. What's your way, Em? Eight ten. Eight ten. Jesus, that is way too much. Get knocked on that one, definitely. So when they get to this size, Andy's just cutting a tag so we know that he's massive. Um, the steaks don't fit in the packets. Um, the joints of beef are too big to sell for a normal family. Um, They're good for Christmas. They're nice size. Family yeah. friends, right? <laughs> no, but the supermarkets can't change the packet sizes for Christmas. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that that's... Basically, why they won't pay us the same amount for it because everyday consumers don't want to buy it. Um, yeah, that's how it is. And we can blame the supermarkets for that sort of thing, but small butchers, farm shops, things like that, they want even smaller animals. Um, so it's what the consumer wants. The supermarket only provides what the consumer wants. And um, yeah, they want a steak that's under a certain price and if it goes slightly over it, they'll put it back on the shelf and 
um, not buy it, buy chicken or something like that instead. So, um, yeah, we need to start producing smaller animals basically to uh, to meet what, what everyday people want for their meals. Uh, so we were reading through the comments last night and um, I guess I'm going to have to hand it to you Andy, you were correct. <laughs> Most people drink tea. Yeah. Because we're chilled out farmers. You know. Americans though, there are a few Americans on there, yeah, they all drink quite coffee. A few, actually. Fire, firemen, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. American, yeah. And did you see, we've got um, a bloke called David who's a priest, he's got our first priest nice. watcher. Did you see that one? Yeah. Firefighters, nice financial, financial services, nurses, yeah, nurses, nurses, people, yeah. military, uh, military weapons engineer. Yeah, that sounded good. That's yeah. a, somebody from Aston Martin, engineering department, Aston Martin. Can you imagine what that's like? Engineering, yeah. I bet it's absolute, I bet they're into speck of dust in there. Oh, yeah, immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> they really fix cars in white colours. In what, white clothes? <laughs> Be nicer, but. but yeah, thanks for everybody for responding. Most people do drink tea by the looks of it, most people have drunk tea. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of coffee drinkers as well, so. Interesting, everyone. I found it quite interesting, didn't we, Andy? Yeah. But no, it was like a lot of people commented, which is great. And um, yeah, it's interesting to know like, a bit about the people watching us. Yeah, yeah, because you see us, we don't see you. Everyone knows everything about us, <laughs> but then, like, yeah, we don't know anything about people that watch us, so yeah, it's a bit of a strange situation for us to be in. So it's nice that way. Right, we're going to get some more cows out. Come on, boys. Come on, then. Nice and steady. Come on. Come on. Sure. Whenever we get cattle out, this black and white one, and it's going to fetch up in a second, always gets out. I'm guessing I'm, there we go, that's him. The unit. We don't have many Frisians, but um, he's one. He's a bit cheeky. Always gets out, doesn't he, Andy? Yeah. Nightmare. We're disturbing these guys now. Just gonna get some out of here. I am proper ready for my dinner. Really ready for it. What did you have for tea last night, Em? What did you have for tea last night? Spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese? Yeah. What do you have, Andy? Faggots. Did you? <laughs> That's old school, isn't it? Proper old school. What is faggots? What, really soft? Yeah, Be like sausage meat then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't I, I think I have had them before. Nice gravy. What gravy do you have though? Because like, do you get pork? Alright. Oh, can you get pork gravy from the shop? You get beef and chicken, can't you? I think you can. Yeah, this stuff. This? Do what gravy? Oh, Christmas gravy. Christmas gravy. What's that got like stuffing in it or something? I don't know, Cranberries. Pigs in blankets gravy. Oh, yeah, pigs yeah, in yeah. blankets. Oh, <laughs> lovely. So we're just taking a little bit of muck out of the front of these pens. Seems we've got it empty. And uh, I think Em's gonna go and take it to the field. First day driving on the road. So Em's going to go on the 130 first and he's going to uh, supervise. Good luck Andy! <laughs> My little man's about somewhere with Grandma. Oh, down there look, he's got his dinosaur suit on. <laughs> Brilliant. So Andy's been taking the load of the muck 
on the 6210. But we just dropped that off now and my dad wants me to go and drill a piece that we were we were wondering whether to drill or not. And anyway, he's decided that we ought to just get it drilled now um, rather than putting a spring crop in. So I'm gonna get the drill on this tractor because that's the one he wants me to use so that the sprayer's still on for when I need to come spraying, which might even be tomorrow. And um, yeah, so basically what I've got to do is Change the PTO shaft over to 1000 speed, because this is 540, which you just squeeze them together, pull it out, jobs are good in. I've already started trying, that's why the clips are together. What's this you've got on? Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Wow. <laughs> Brilliant. Did you want to come in Daddy's tractor? Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, you got mud on your hands. You don't like mucky hands, do you? Wipe it on your wipe it on your trousers like Daddy does. That's it. All clean now. <laughs> Brilliant. So I've got the drill back on, and we better get it into the shed. Get some seed put in the back, some wheat, and uh, get off drilling. With it fifty k. Really? Maybe on the way back. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Andy, she's safe. Is a bit more practice needed? Keep practicing. <laughs> what does that mean, do you think, Kev? I think it was alright. Yeah? Right, yeah? Good, good, good. Yeah, any cars, these cars were around there. Did they? <laughs> no. They were reactive cars. <laughs> well, that's what I like to hear. They're not yeah. scared, are they? Oh, right. They had the room, you know, they had the pavement. Move around. <laughs> Very good. Em's filling me with confidence here. What have you just said? When you're in car, you're going down a foot punch and it goes faster down hill a little bit before you break. You feel it just free off. You, you shouldn't coast them. <laughs> you should always be in control. She can only get her car to 70 until she goes downhill and gets the clutch. <laughs> Uh, right. Becky does that though, she like offers a foot of a clutch all the time. It's like, right. do not do that. She don't like it when I comment on her driving though, so I, I've, I've given up now. <laughs> yeah, so it's all back in one piece, the job's a good one. Um, them guys are going to go down to a horse place now and just move a bit of muck and level some tarmac out. It's not something that we do, but we just do it for this one guy, so. Um, we've always done it for like ever. So they're going to go and get that job done while I get my drill filled up and um, go drilling. Get out there, get some seeds in the ground, some wheat in the ground. Um, yeah, that's my job now. Oh, my life is a plate pain. I need the weight block on and I'm going to have to move the pick up because I can't get it on without moving it, which is great fun. So M's off on the telehandler because she's passed her telehandler course. It weighs under the weight limit that um, she's allowed to drive because there's certain little laws that we've had to look up. Um, and yeah, she's off on that. I'm just taking the tra tractor and trailer down just because it's a bit... We, were, we thought it'd be a bit more difficult to drive the tractor and trailer on her own where she's going. So we've got the weight block on now um, and we need it on as well. It's a big tractor of 210, but when you've got that hang on, hanging off the back and you've got half a tonne of seed in the hopper, um, it needs that ballast on the front to keep the uh, front end down. So I've filled up with diesel. I've also rang for some diesel today and the lowest price, the second lowest price to it was three and a half pence less. Um, so Oil Max has won it today in the red diesel race to uh, to the bottom. Um, still expensive though, let me tell you that. I'm not going to say how much, but yeah, they were three and a half pence less than the next lowest. So just shows you need to shop around. I don't think some normally Surtas has been the cheapest to be honest with us, but not today, not today. Right, so I'm off. Um, we'll get down to the field and get drilling. It's not going to be as easy as normal though because no GPS in this tractor. Well, there is, but my dad took it out, so just going to have to steer it with my hand. So this is handy as I've got down here. 
somebody in edge cutting on a case. 165. Ooh. Wards, I think. Ward services. Nice little beast. So I'm hoping that the power arrow goes into this land because um, we just tri tilled it. I think we maybe tri tilled it twice actually. I'm not sure, we might have just done it once. Um, it was a long time ago, so hopefully the power will just work into it. Fingers crossed. This was what was rape last year. So it's going in real nice actually. Near perfect conditions. In this area at field anyway. Got a load of branches for some reason. Like dotted all over. Some up there. Some over there. Whether the wind's carried them or somebody's carried them. Some kids or something. Uh one just chucking over the fence, getting out of the field. It does look a beast this tractor with that drill on. Just like a little toy on bag. Be nice to have that 6250R with black edition, wouldn't it? That'd look cool. Anyway, that looks good. I like it. So now I'm just walking up the field, getting these branches. Because they'll just... Oh, they don't look far when you're in tractor. Because it's not easy. You just put it in forward and you drive. But um, it's quite a walk, really, getting all these little branches up. All they do is get caught up in my drill and have to get out anyway, so... I'll get it done. Um, hoping Andy and Emma will be back soon from doing that job at the horse place and then um, they can get the cattle fed and I'll continue on with this drilling. Uh, there's a lot of rubble and stuff in this part of the field here. There used to be an old track that went across. Um, you can still see pieces of pottery and that coming up and rubble. Right, get back in the tractor. Let's get something done. Still on it edge cutting. If he's done this hedge here, he's uh, he doesn't do a bad job, this lad. Not sure, I'm not sure what the... Uh, is it McConnell? Yeah, McConnell edge cutter. Yeah, he's making a tidy job. So I'm putting a straight line in by eye now. I don't think I'm doing too bad a job. Heading back now down my unmarked side. Just filling in up to the hedge. So I'm drilling this without tram lines. So I'll put the tram lines in with the sprayer. Um, I've just got to keep remembering this counts to the number. And then as soon as it gets to eight, it puts a tram line in whether I like it or not. So I have to keep forwarding the numbers, plusing the numbers through. So that I don't uh, put a tram line in. Hopefully I don't forget any times so or it'll look a bit of a mess. So check this out. Good job I looked. The belt has come off the drill. That's the belt that runs the fan that blows the seed down. If that's not on, then the seed doesn't come out. So I'm lucky that I've spotted it right now, or else I'd have been going down the field and there would have been no seed coming out. Fun. Look at it though, it's absolutely cream crackered. Okay, uh, right, back to the farm, I think. Right, I'm back at the farm. I'm really hoping, I'm crossing my fingers, I think we found a belt from previous years in the field and then I put it in with 6930. So I'll hope it's in here well hallelujah here it is found in the field getting reused business we can get back to we can back get back up and running i was have to order a couple more of these so we've still got some in stock if it ever happens again so to get the belt on just winding the fan back so pushing that back that way and then there's a pulley in there it needs to get into that pulley there that's where the belt goes just a bit faffy because there isn't much room to actually get in there and uh, manipulate the belt. Hi, right, Em! Em's just been cleaning the lorry out. Did you get your job done down at the horse place? Do you like seeing a few horses? Take 
There's only two. Oh, how disappointing. Right, I'm better get back off drilling, Anna. Now I've got my drill fixed. Broke down, yeah. Yeah, so dude. In fact, it's a really long video, so I think I might as well end it here, as soon as you're here. And I'm not doing it on my own then. So, what do people need to do? Like, and comment. And subscribe. Um, yeah, it really helps us out. If you do that, it'd be fantastic. Um, like I said, if people want to get a hold of any of the merchandise, it is going out of stock now, but we are getting some more stock in. So um, if you're wanting a big order, just wait a few days and then we should have everything back in stock. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Just me and you, innit? I'm Mick. Oh, I'm Mick. Is he in? Yeah. Business. Right. See you. Bye.